So I started thinking the other day about all the different Bluetooth kits we've had a look at on the show. And I thought to myself, if I just went out and bought the first budget one I could find on eBay, do you think it'd be any good? Stick around, let's find out. Okay, so the SCS ETC S6 Bluetooth helmet kit. Now this thing cost us just a little under 15 quid, and for 15 quid I'm just wondering what you can actually get to be honest with you. Now what does it say it can actually do? Well it says it's Bluetooth 4.0, it says it can play music, uh, it says it has a 10 meter range as well, which isn't very far, but to be honest with you, unless you're wanting intercom, the range doesn't really matter because your phone's going to be in your pocket. It has a 150 milliamp battery, uh, which is okay. What else have we got? It says it's rainproof, and it has 40 millimeter speakers, so the speakers are quite big, so with a 40 millimeter speaker, I'd expect the sound quality to be okay. But, is it going to be any good? Uh, right, let's have a look, let's try and find out. Right, we've got the SCS unit here, so we'll take a peek to see what's inside. So, we have some packaging, as we can see here. Uh, we have the unit encased in some sort of foam material a couple of speakers and a female USB port. That must be for charging it up. Um, the boom mic on a bendy boom there, uh, power up, power down and a function button and a couple of speakers. Uh, speakers look quite thick. Uh, difficult to tell what the unit's going to be like until we actually give it a proper bit of testing. A USB power cable and some instructions as we can see here which we will have a look through now and get back to you in a moment okay so as you can see we've got the bluetooth unit hooked up to the mini me test helmet and i guess the first thing you're going to have to do is when you buy your bluetooth unit is hook it up to your phone so that can be our first test how easy it is to get it to connect to your phone I will make sure that our Bluetooth is turned on, and yes it is turned on. Now the instructions tell us that if this hasn't been hooked up to anything yet, all we need to do is press the button and turn the unit on, and it powers on and goes into pairing mode immediately. Now it's immediately found the SCS unit there as we can see, so we will press that. We will allow it access to the phone and we are connected. Well, to be honest with you, that couldn't be easy. Now, it's got a Bluetooth 4.0 system in where they tell us that it makes it really, really easy to connect to things. Now, I've got to be honest with you, I think they're telling the truth. So guys, just before we go ahead with any more testing, we'd like to hope you'd consider subscribing, as there's no point in making these videos without you there to watch us. So uh, yeah, go ahead, show support, hit that thumbs up button, and we will tell you when we have more reviews. So as we've just seen, the unit itself was very, very easy to pair up, but another test of, obviously, Bluetooth units is their functionality. Now, whereas some of the more expensive models will do all sorts of things, you know, have all the whistles and bells, this unit is primarily just for taking phone calls and listening to music, really. So let's see how easy it is to listen to some music. Uh, now, the instructions tell us by pressing the button once in the middle of the function button, this should play us some music. Okay, great, yeah, so we have there, the music is playing, it seems fairly loud. Um, now we've got a couple of little buttons, a plus button and a minus button, as we can see here. I'll just turn that down a little bit. There we go, so the volume's going down a little bit there, as you can see. I've got to say, so far, I can't find anything wrong with it. functionality seems okay it's very limited but it's very very easy to use as well uh, so I guess another test of how good this unit is is the sound reproduction uh, now I know this is going to be hard for you to hear guys but I'll do my best for you so if I can just fire the music back up again there so as we can see we've got the helmet on mini me here and that's obviously not on my ears but I am just gonna now the bass production is pretty good. I know this test might not work, but we'll hold it up to the microphone a bit. Yep, 
you probably couldn't hear that, but can I say the sound reproduction on this unit is actually very, very good. It surprised me a little bit, to be honest with you. So again, thumbs up SCS. Okay, was my £15 well spent? Well, to sum up, it doesn't have the hands-free voice function capability that, say, the twin units has. There's a little pop-up thingy up there if anybody wants to watch a review on that. And it's not intercom compatible, like, say, for instance, the Interphone Connect unit. Again, another little pop-up up there for you. But to be fair, it only costs £15. Um, on the upside, it's very easy to pair, uh, it's very easy to use, and the sound quality is great. So I would have to say, yeah, it was worth every penny of £15. Now, I was going to put a couple of links in the comments down below for eBay and Amazon where you could buy this unit. But since we bought this unit, it has seems to have gone out of stock. So we contacted the resellers and they said that's because there's a brand new unit on its way. It's an upgraded, updated version of the SCS. Now, they've promised us as soon as they get one into stock, they're going to send us one out. And we can do a review on that to let you see. So don't forget to subscribe, guys. And I will send you a notification when that review is out if you want to watch it. Now, for those of you with a little bit more money to spend, I have left a couple of reviews which are about to come up any moment now that you can watch. My name's Bobby Max. I'm out of here.